Students in Cassandra Tinsley's eighth grade art class at Maple Grove in Battleground are diving headfirst into their art to experience another world. But students aren't just diving into another world, they're creating it. Hop on the headset. It's virtual reality with a paintbrush. With a VR headset and Google's app called Tilt Brush, students create a three-dimensional work from their imagination. Tilt Brush opened up a new world for artists. It wasn't long before art teachers discovered it was a very cool tool that their students would enjoy. Okay, now imagine yourself transported inside. What is it? What would it be like if you were standing in the middle and looking around at all the colors and shapes? First, students must conceptualize an idea, write a treatment, then draw their work on paper before stepping into an empty canvas to create a fully realized 3D artwork. The kids talk about their projects as they're working on them. So we can project what the student in the headset is seeing and the other students in the class can discuss, can give feedback, can ask questions and be a part of it. It's more of a social collaborative piece. Um, was it hard to draw like the shape of the waterfall? Yeah, actually at first like I erased it many, many times. But then I just like decided to stick with this one and then I just worked around it. It was very challenging for me because like I would like start with one thing, I'd like draw a line, be like, no, I don't like that, and then delete it over and over and over again. After much trial and error, Ella created a beautiful sparkling waterfall. I liked like the way the water would like just flow kind of and like the steam I did kind of like would just rise and stuff. It was very calming to me. Think of this as kind of like trying to make a clay model without your hands. It sounds impossible, but it's just the way that you make it. Catherine chose to create the solar system because of her love of astronomy. Now she and her classmates can walk through her solar system to explore her interpretation. Mine's different than a painting because you are actually in it. You are submerged into the art versus just looking at a painting from this point of view, you can actually step into the model. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I've made a, like, a fishing place. Like Marcus wanted to recreate his favorite spot right here on Earth. It's like a pretty cool place. And I like to fish a lot, so I, that was like the first thing that came to my mind. I'm gonna make like a lake and I'm gonna make a big fish. While virtual reality has been around a few years, its use in the classroom, from virtual field trips to science discovery to creative art, is new and expanding. And it has so many amazing applications from science to engineering and then with art the way that we are using it. And so it's something new that they are getting an opportunity to use now in school that will most likely be something that they will be using in the future. It's really cool because it just like transforms reality. What you make is like you can just be in it. It's super cool. It's kind of hard to explain. It's more easy to actually do it. The students love it. I love it. It's just really been an awesome project that they've been able to do. If you would like to see more students' virtual reality videos, search for Cassandra Tinsley on YouTube, Maple Grove VR Art Project.